And Aaron, the CAL FIRE AIR ATTACK uh, CREW OUT HERE IN HOLLISTER RESPONDED TO BOTH THOSE FIRES. AND AS WE'VE SEEN BEFORE, THE AIR ATTACK PLAYING A KEY ROLE IN HELPING TO FIGHT FIRES FROM ABOVE. THIS GRASS FIRE OFF HIGHWAY 152 IN SAN BENITO COUNTY MONDAY AFTERNOON CAME DANGEROUSLY CLOSE TO BURNING A HILLTOP HOME. IT WOULDN'T BE LONG BEFORE THE CAL FIRE AIR ATTACK WAS ON IT. AND KSBW WAS THERE WATCHING AS PILOTS MADE retardant DROPS WITH PINPOINT ACCURACY. THESE GUYS ARE VERY SKILLED PILOTS. THEY'VE BEEN DOING IT FOR A LONG TIME. AND uh, OUR GOAL IS PRECISION DROPS TO TRY TO GET THE retardant EXACTLY WHERE IT'S NEEDED AND NOWHERE ELSE. The goal of CAL FIRE crews is to keep fires under 10 acres. This one was limited to less than five and the home was saved. It was the second fire in less than 24 hours here on the central coast that the air attack helped fight. Sunday, CAL FIRE was providing air support as ground crews battled the Castro fire outside Gilroy that burned 125 acres before it was contained. Not all fires can be kept under 10 acres. Terrain, weather, and access are all variables. We try to be aggressive in the air, but we can only do so much from the air. If the ground crews aren't there to back it up, uh, for instance, it takes them a long time to get there, um, then the fire gets a lot bigger. And during this busy fire season, it's not unusual for the Cal, uh, Cal Fire Air Attack to respond to three or four fires a day. In fact, as soon as they wrapped up fighting that fire just off Highway 152, they were back up in the air helping to fight a fire in San Luis Obispo County. Aaron, Dan. All right, Felix, thank you. Part of the Cal Fire Air Attack here on the Central Coast also includes a helicopter base in Bear Valley just outside the Pinnacles National Park.